I know that life may seem a bit strange at times But through all of the pain and confusion you have to remain divine Do all that you can do to heal and change inside Know and understand that even flowers have to endure the rain at times Beautiful sunflowers, sunflowers so You haven't been yourself since some time ago Beautiful sunflowers, sunflowers so You have to learn to let go and forgive In order for the sunshine to show Right now I am a food raw vegan, so it means pretty much I don't eat flies out here tonight, but yeah, nature's out here, but um, pretty much I'm a fully raw vegan, um, I don't eat any cooked food, I just stick to mainly just fruits, sometimes vegetables, um, I'm on a fitness journey after cleansing and losing like a massive amount of weight. Um, becoming skinny and stuff. I embarked on this fitness journey, so that's where I'm at right now. I'm working out, gaining weight the healthy way, and exercising and getting fit. Also, um, I help people. I teach people, you know, about the healthy lifestyle, how I got to where I got to now, where I am now. Um, because I feel like we have to do this all together. We all have to heal together. Uh, right now, I'm just focusing on myself because I know healing uh, starts with yourself first. Facts. Facts. Now, you said you are fully raw um, vegan. Is this something that you uh, that you jump straight into, or or was this a process? And and along this journey, what actually pushed you to uh, to actually go to the extremities of being fully raw and not just a uh, vegetarian or uh, any other plant-based uh, diet that's that's around? So it was definitely a process. Um, I started off first uh, vegan. No, 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 no. I started off vegetarian first. Mm -hmm. And vegetarian, pretty much, you still consume dairy, but you don't eat any meat, um, animal flesh, fish, or whatever. You don't eat any of that. So I was still consuming dairy. Um, the reason why I got into it was because of health, it, health issues. And when I noticed that, you know, yes, I, I noticed some stuff, you know, did change with my body, but not everything that I wanted to change changed. So I started embarking on the vegan lifestyle where I cut off the dairy because I found out stuff about dairy that wasn't good for the body, that um, caused harm to the body and, and our overall health. After vegan and cleansing and so much fasting, my body just got used to eating less. So I went into uh, the raw lifestyle. I was doing raw challenges to get me into the raw lifestyle. And then that's where I'm at right now. What was life like before, uh, you know, vegetarian, uh, vegan, fully raw? Um, were you facing any type of, you know, health issues? Uh, what, what was it that you were going through that actually pushed you to even look into changing your diet up in the slightest? I start knowing why all these issues that happened to me when I was a little girl happened to me. And that's like, you know, female problems. Um, I was having issues with getting pregnant. I was having miscarriages, um, atopic pregnancies. And for those of you who don't know what atopic pregnancy is, that's when the baby gets stuck in your tube or basically just outside of the womb, outside of the uterus. Um, and it implants there and it starts growing. So um, had that happen, um, the atopic pregnancy, and having ended up having to go under the knife, uh, having surgery on my tooth. Um, I had pretty much just about every, uh, like, well, most reproductive issues that uh, females have today and now. Um, I had eczema, horrible eczema. And, and the crazy thing about it is I never had eczema, like, you know, when I was a little girl, but it just, it just came at a point in my life, at a chapter in my life. It was all in my arms. It was itchy. I couldn't go to sleep. I would roll over in bed and be scratching my arms. It was like a painful itch. It wasn't a good itch. Um, I always had these random rashes that would pop up, like, on my arm. It was like a circle, and I thought it was like ringworms. That's why I was told it was ringworms. But I had it right here, had them grow on my stomach, under my boobs, on my thighs. It was just like these random circular rashes. Um, what else was happening? Just PMS, heavy menstrual cycles, um, headaches, migraines. I was taking Tylenols, et cetera. And, um, all of that um, and then like when I went um, about the PMS um, like those were so bad to the point where like my 
My, I was bleeding so much to the point where nurses would tell me, you have to go home. You're like, you're losing too much blood. Um, ovarian cyst, I had that. A whole bunch of shit, like mm -hmm. a whole bunch of shit yeah, happened. Like, covering the bases for pretty much anybody at home. You yeah. know, you might have one or one or all yeah. of these problems. If but you it, had it, I probably had it. Like, if that's pretty much what it is. And you got to think about it. All these diseases are happening collectively. It's not just happening to one person because somebody who's hearing this, me talk like this, they're probably at home relating to it. You know, saying that's the same thing that's happened to me. Um, you know, and that's the thing that a lot of people do too. I know that we can all relate to it. You know, I can't myself being a male, but I know in society, um, we group together and, and in a way, I feel like we group together in understanding what each other's going through, but we don't group together in a solution for it. You know, there's plenty of women that have probably came together to talk about all the complications that, that you're going through, but no, not many of them maybe, you know, within that discussion know what the solution is because the doctor told them that it was because of, you know, uh, their, their ethnicity, you know, you're black or, you know, you're Latino or, you know, you're a white woman. So genetically, Your had it. yeah, you yeah. know, all, all of these things, but you know, that doesn't really offer too much of a solution for the problem. Me being a Latino, I can't really change that I was born a Latin American or, you know, whatever title that you want to put on me for, for what, what my genetics may consist of. So with all of these changes, you know, I don't really see too many rashes, you know, I, I can't really contest to uh, everything else that you're going through, but can you tell us how? Uh, you know, all of these changes that you've made for your body has actually benefited you going forward and what uh, what it has done for your life. Yeah, so the changes happen slowly. It's a lifestyle. It's not something that happens quick. And a lot of people give up because they're not seeing that changes right there and there. And you can't give up. You got to keep going. So these changes slowly started happening. Um, my skin started clearing up. I don't have eczema no more at all. Like, at all. Those rashes, I used to burn them off with bleach. Like, that's how bad it was. I used to put bleach on them and burn them off. Um, but after that, they never appeared on my skin again. My skin is like so bright, so clean. My face is clean, no pimples, no acne. Um, as far as like my, my um, reproductive um, system, like that changed drastically. I used to, you know, bleed for seven days. Um, sometimes longer and it was heavy, like very, very heavy. Now it's less than to three days to the point where I don't notice that it's here. The only time that I notice it is when I'm actually using the restroom and you know, you females, you know, when you wipe, um, you see something on there. But the cramping stopped. It's like totally non-existent. Um, the first day is a very light day, so it's like, even, it's, it's still baffling to me because it's like, it's so light to the point I'm like, is it here? Is it really here? Like, so then the second day, that's when, you know, the most will come out and then the third day it's going away. So it went from seven days to three days. And coming from somebody who has surgery on the tube, like I let somebody go inside of me and do surgery on my, on my reproductive system, like, after surgery, you got scar tissue, you got adhesions that form, you got all of this pain that's gonna come with it. All of that went away. And you would think that it would be worse, you know, when I have my, my monthly, but um, all of that went away. Um, I lost a lot of weight, I'm gaining it back. Like I said, the healthy way with exercise. Um, I got rid of a lot of plaque inside of me, a lot of excess uh, weight that wasn't supposed to be there a lot of waste because of, yeah a lot of waste a lot of waste and my digestive system boy. speaking of waste I, it's something that i've a conversation that me and you have had before and something that we touched on and i won't i want to actually hit on that because i've never thought about it like that and i don't know if anybody else has thought about it but it it, it touches and it starts to draw parallels to a lot of complications that women have with the wing and that is where your actual bladder and where your actual colon sits in comparison to your wound and the importance of why you keep saying that you cleaned all of this stuff out and you lost weight because I know it's not just about the weight for you. You know, somebody coming from surgery, somebody coming from things that are that traumatic, what, were, what was the importance of cleaning all of that waste out of you and why? And can you go into details with people about the position and the, you know, the, the, the way that the organs are actually positioned in the body? Um, as far as the, the position of the colon and your bladder, all of that is on your womb. All of that is touching your womb. So 
when I started cleaning out my stomach and my digestive system and my colon, um, I realized that that's when those problems with my menstrual and my, my female problems were going away, was after I cleaned out my intestines. Not before, not during, but after I cleaned it out. Um, that's when those problems started going away because everything is being absorbed into your uterus from the colon, from your bladder, Everything is being absorbed into it. So if you have toxic waste sitting inside of your intestines and your uterus is right there, it's taking in everything from your digestive system. So every, every parasite, every bacteria, everything is being absorbed inside your uterus. So that, that's why I embarked. I didn't embark on the journey solely just for my wounds. I embarked on the journey as baby because, like, I knew there was so much more. Like, I knew I, I didn't love myself at that time. Yeah, I have a, fem uh, um, a message for the females. Um, pretty much, like, everything is mental. Like, it all starts with your mind. So, if you do want to embark on healing your wound, it starts with your thoughts. It starts with how you see the world, how you think of the world. You have to heal yourself within. You have to feel positive. You got to think positive. You got to be positive. Once you take that initiative to to make that change, that's the first start. Like you thought it, you, you brought it into existence. You manifested it, and that's your start. Um, a lot of people just have negative thoughts right now, um, and it's not. It's, sometimes it's not their fault. Sometimes it is their fault. Um, but subconsciously, they don't know that they're doing it. But you are doing it, and I believe with females. Everything, because the womb is a storehouse, it stores energy. Um, everything that you go through in your life is stored inside your womb. So that's why females act and think the way that they think right now. And that's why I say it starts with thought. They pass it on. Yep, they pass it on. Yeah. Yep, everything. So they pass it on. Um, the relationships that they go through. This is what this is what causes womb trauma. So womb trauma is pretty much like the rapes that happen the miscarriages like i like i went through the miscarriages the topic pregnancies um just having sex period with different energies that you're not you have no business being tied to um pretty much all of that is wound trauma there's much more uh the abortions um the undergoing hysterectomy um, everything is wound trauma ovarian cysts everything is wound trauma and i actually want to add in to the to the wound trauma because me and my brothers were having you know a building the other day it had to be like five of us in there man it's one of those conversations where me and are being open and honest and you know there are no women around and we're talking about some of the things that we have created in our lower self. And one thing that we had came to, you know, acknowledge is that we're quick to say that women are crazy. You know, this woman's crazy, man, my girl off, you know, I don't know what's going on, but you know, we ain't been honest about the fact that we've been we've been sneaking around. You know, we've been out and we've been we've been dipping in and you know she didn't catch us and we stopped doing it, but that, that they didn't change the fact that we tied ourselves to someone that we didn't probably really know much about that had some issues going on herself. Maybe she had some traumas that she needed to heal from. And we just brought that back home, you know, and that's another trauma, you know, that's another, because it's not just a, a physical wound, but as a spiritual wound also. And both men and women carry these. So this is something else that we have to heal from, you know, and women have to be conscious of, you know, why you're changing your diet. Like you said, it starts with, starts with your mind and your way of thinking also. Cause you can change your diet, you can clean all the toxins out of your body, but if you're not being conscious and you're not being careful with the decisions that we make and with our spirits, we can also face trauma. Exactly, and, that, and, and, and that's like the best point right there, is start with your mind. Like, and if you don't make that conscious decision, the shit, the shit, you're gonna take that out. Nope, you're that in. Oh, you gonna take that out? But you know, if you don't make that conscious decision to just like change your lifestyle around, because it does start with diet too. Because as stated, everything is absorbed in the uterus. So if you have a toxic gut, toxic gut, toxic mind, toxic wound, all of that, you do gotta clean that out. That's why a lot of females you see are walking around with a, a pudge and all of that stuff. All of that 
all of that fat, all of that big belly is, is trauma. Mm -hmm. And and trauma could be energy because everything is energy. Stress. So it, it is, it is. But it's energy, like what causes that stress? It's that negative energy that you allowed into your space. You allowed into your womb. And as stated, females have a womb and males have a womb. So the trauma can happen to the male and the trauma can happen to the female. That's why females is important for the female to heal yourself, to love yourself, to heal your womb so you can heal your men. Because the relationships that you're in, just take a look at your relationship. I could look at your relationship and tell you that you got you got trauma in you. Just by the relationship that you have, just by your thoughts, just by your words. Oh, all men are the same. Oh, he ain't shit. Um, all of that. It, 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 it's a reflection of your womb. It's a reflection of who you are inside of you. And so if your man is is something that you, you know, you don't agree with, you're having problems in the relationship, self-reflect. And that's another important thing. I always self-reflect in every situation. Every situation, because nothing is outside of me. Everything is in me. So everything that I'm seeing is who I am on the inside. So self-reflect. Look inside of you. Love yourself. Love yourself. And the females, if you want to heal your wound, as stated, it starts with your mind. It starts with your thoughts. You start loving yourself. Um, with that, then come the positive thoughts. You start making conscious decisions. And you start researching. You start cleaning out your intestines. You start cleaning out your gut. Um, and with that comes clear thoughts. Sorry, distracted. But with that comes your um, clear thoughts. You start thinking more clearly. Um, as you start cleaning out your intestines, you'll start seeing some changes in your womb. Um, you can also hear your womb by breathing to your womb. Breathing in, in positive thoughts, positive light, energy, breathing it, touching your womb, you know, putting your own energy onto your womb. Thinking, when you breathe in, you think positive. When you release, you release all that negative energy. Um, castor oil packs. Castor oil packs, what castor oil does, it penetrates. Um, through the skin and it helps break down scar tissue it helps break down adhesions when females go through surgical procedures with their womb when they go through um, abortions you start forming scar tissue your organs start tying themselves together so your womb is not moving it has no fluid movement whatsoever that's why females are tight that's why, that's why it can't stretch you got pain when you have sex <laughs> that's why your, your, your womb is attached to other stuff that's not supposed to be attached to that's the adhesions, that's the scar tissue. Castor oil help, helps that. It penetrates through the skin. You start massage, um, massaging your stomach. And the reason why I say massage your womb is because, because of the weight of our intestines and the toxic stuff that's inside our intestines, it sits on your womb. So it causes you know, your womb to be crushed. It causes it to be tilted. So you want to massage your womb so you can break up scar tissue, break up adhesion, and you can move that uterus up back into position. And you also promote blood circulation. Yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. But how you can find me, um, you can find me on my Facebook. My Facebook is Taisha um, Hippolyte. And you can also find me on Instagram. It's um, raw God underscore. So it's R A W G A H D underscore. And um, I do have a cleanse group. It's uh, Heal Thyself. Heal slash Die slash Self. And then we also have our new cleanse, um, our journey page. This is basically to help you guys do your womb healing journey. It's called Journey to Self Love. Um, and that's how you guys can find me. I talk more about it um, and I'll elaborate more. Um, if you guys been through the same thing and you want to get more information, you guys know where to find me. Peace, love, and light, fam. I'm trying to make a change I know flowers grow We cannot stay the same So if you love the flower You cannot hate the rain Sometimes my days are insane I'm talking major pain Hope not I pray in vain I'm trying to make a change I know people change I know flowers grow I know we need the rain Sunflower souls